uh, this video is for uh, introduce uh, how to use the engineering connections uh, while instantiate the template in EKL. So basically, we have uh, the kind of a skeleton. Uh, the input will be uh, the line. So we have the, the lines and uh, uh, we're going to use the, the, uh, the AC system to use the engineering connections. Okay. So I will show you the, the result first and I will ex uh, explain. So when we're going to learn um, assembly level and uh, we need to the list the book curve and uh, we need to also need to have the RC system list and uh, the skeleton. So when you click OK. So it's instantiated automatically uh, with the, the each template are located in a, uh, the right position. You have the, the uh, AC system here. Okay. So what happened here? The first things. Uh, let's see the uh, the EKL structure here. So I explained one by one. Uh, so here's define instant template. So F uh, picture. I integer instant name because we want to control the name of the uh, uh, instance and the uh, uh, curve uh, is for um, uh, defining of the uh, input curve. So we need to have uh, these declarations uh, per to instantiate the template here. So let's see the instantiate. So I equal one and the for I, Y, I. Uh, so this means, you know, the repeat the, uh, this task from here to here uh, until the size of the curve list. So we have the, the curve list here. So we will see the size here, which means it, this loop uh, will uh, three times repeat the task. And uh, my curve here, I said uh, get items from uh, the curve list. And the instant name, uh, we can change the instant name here, the word plus uh, to string. So we're going to use this name the, while instantiating our eng engineering template. So F actually is the uh, instant template. So name is uh, engineering uh, ET covering, for example and the location under the uh, this product level. So where is this came from? Is here. Uh, when you see the resource table. So here um, we registered uh, the name, local logical name, and we can use in EKL. So logical name, engine template, uh, which engine template is located here. And let's try to open this. And right click. So right click and you see the, the edit the assigned resource. So we can open engineering template from here. So engineering template is like a power copy or UDF, but uh, working on the product level. We need to have the component. Uh, for working poly. So there's a define the component. Uh, it will be duplicate while instantiate. And uh, we define the input, uh, the name of the input curve. So we're going to use this name in EKL as well. And there's a parameter. We want to change the name of the title. So uh, here is we, how we declare uh, with name, V name with, uh, with this. Cover. There's many other options you can, uh, if you want to configure it, you can uh, click add and uh, select the, the parameter. Uh, that's our per engine template. So, so let's return to the script. So again, uh, until we here, so instant template, this is the resource name on the uh, resource table. And uh, we define the set of attribute object. So this name, input curve, we're going to replace it uh, 
from input curve to uh, my curve. So uh, I defined here my curve. And we also want to change the this uh, pre name, the inst name. So this is the, the inst name. For in this case, were on the bar one, two, three. So uh, because we defined here were plus to string i. So i uh, will uh, keep increase the number when you repeat the, uh, the roof and and the modify template then. so once you uh, instanted your template the next step we're going to create the engineering connection so for the nations uh, engineering connection um, we can uh, directly use the the product level but uh, for easy to understand uh, we can uh, to the set assembly root or first instance or second instance. So when you uh, think about the creating the engineer connections, where are you going to create the engineer connection? So it should be under the assembly root. And we need to have a uh, first instance, which is under the skeleton level uh, arch system. And the second instance is the each template. We have a, uh, the uh, arch system that we should uh, uh, using the engineer connection here. So, defining here the first ashi. So, first ashi, we have the list here. So, I'm going to get the item uh, from the list. And uh, I'm going to find the first ashi system name as well. Because uh, in the end, when you creating the engineer connection, we need to have the, the root uh, structure uh the connect for the connection okay so i grab the first assistant name until here after then uh we need to create the the path of uh, assist uh system so i created two paths of first system and path of second system so first system uh going to create the uh from as uh, assembly root and uh, create the path string the first instance and uh, uh, the first ash system. Okay, so then you will going to create the, the name. Uh, so you will see it later again. I will show you again. And then at the second uh, pass as well. Uh, this time I'm going to use the uh, text format. So because I want to use the, um, the wild card here. So we know the, the name of the Ashi system, but to knowing the name of the uh, feature, you know, we just can use the, the second instance point name because we know here the second instance equal F. So instantiating F, uh, it's the, the second instance here, and we grab the, the second instance name. Okay. So second is a name slash uh, base system. Uh, the basically it should be published. Uh, so you can use the engineering connection here easily. Um, that's the things. And uh, well, there's another uh, for publication uh, automatically. It's uh, the another topics, but anyway. Um, until here and now the finally we're going to create the, the engine temp, uh, connection uh, to create the engine connection also i want to i need to define the the name of the engine connection here you see the coincidence one two three it's uh, defined i defined here coincidence plus two string i so it's a uh, one two three and uh, created the uh, coincidence. Uh, you see defined here coincidence is uh, um, R, uh, MRX coincidence type. Okay. After that, uh, you need to have the, some root uh, from assembly root and the create coincidence. After that, you need to have name, this name here and uh, going to use the coincidence uh, activity. So you see the here coincidence, and uh, we need to have two 
uh, pass of uh, first ASC and uh, pass of second ASC, which is we defined already here. So this is how it works. And uh, you see, I will uh, delete and uh, see all together. Uh, so there. And I uh, also need to delete the, the errors. OK, so again, when you learn it, we need to know the product level and uh, Cover, we need to have input list, input curve list, and the uh, as system list, and the skeleton level. Um, those are also can be uh, automatically defined, but I'm not going too far uh, for that. So uh, when you click OK, then so here the message here, you see the, the pass of the first as the the root skeleton uh as system five six seven and each engine template uh base as system okay so where is the five six seven is uh from here this one five six seven okay so this is the uh this is all for uh this sessions so hope you guys enjoy Thank you.